Installation instructions for the Series 2100 Mega Flange Restrained Flange Adapter. Step 1. Identify the pipe. The Mega Flange 2100 flange adapter, sizes 4 inch through 12 inch, is designed for use on ductile iron pipe, PVC, C900 and IPS OD, ASTM D2241 pipe, and steel pipe. Check to see if the spacers under the screws are in place. If the pipe is ductile iron or CIOD PVC C900, do not remove the spacers. If the pipe is steel or IPS OD PVC, remove the spacers, sizes 4 inch through 12 inch. The 3 inch size is designed for use on ductile iron IPS OD PVC pipe. Sizes 30 inch and larger are designed for ductile iron pipe only. There are no spacers on the 3 inch and the 14 inch and larger sizes. Step 2. Cut the pipe to the required length. Clean the end of the pipe for a length approximately one foot using a wire brush if needed, removing all excess paint and foreign material. Also clean the opposing flange to be connected to the 2100. Place the 2100 restraint ring on the clean pipe with the lip facing the plain end. Step 3. Lubricate and place the Ebacil gasket on the clean pipe following the restraint ring. Use a transition gasket in place of the Ebacil gasket for steel and IPS OD PVC pipe. Step 4. Place the O-ring into the groove of the 2100 gasket ring. This step may have been completed at the factory. Check gasket ring to see if O-ring is already in place. Place the gasket ring on the pipe with the O-ring facing the pipe end and the gasket recess facing the Ebacil or transition gasket and restraint ring. Step 5. Bring the pipe and flanges together within the maximum assembled deflection and maximum allowable gap L to the flange face. Slide the gasket ring, gasket, and restraint ring until contact is made with the opposing flange. Step 6. Insert and tighten all flange bolts. Torque all flange bolts in an alternating manner to the value listed in Table 1.1. Be sure to make any necessary joint deflection before tightening the actuating screws. Joint deflection should not exceed the maximum allowable deflection. Be sure that deflection of the joint does not cause the end of the pipe to be separated from the opposing flange more than the maximum allowable gap L. Step 7. Tighten the actuating screws in an alternating manner until all wedges touch the pipe. Continue tightening the nuts in an alternating pattern until all the torque limiting nuts have been twisted off. Step 8. If removal is necessary, utilize the 5 8 inch hex head provided. For reinstallation, repeat steps 2 through 7, torquing the actuating screws to 70 foot pounds or until the hex heads bottom out on the spacers or gland. For more information and to see all of EBA Iron's innovative products, go to www.eba.com.